Well, I gotta say that Bumpus song was terrible, but at least we can all agree it's better than anything John Cena's ever produced. <laughs> that being said, get along, little robot. Don't, my child. You again. Ugh. What the? He's not getting any smarter, is he? Then again, we shouldn't we shouldn't uh, use too many tra uh, use too many tries at doing this. Otherwise, he might pull off a miracle and grow a brain. Yeah, just in case, uh, save the game. Uh, just press F five, save the game, so that you know if we if you mess up again, you could just start right there. Neat. So, anyways. It wasn't any better the first time. <laughs> I still don't see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Gets me every time. <laughs> <laughs> what was Max even doing there? Ahem. Yeah, just try a little lower towards the body. That's exactly what I did. Really? Oh, wait, well, I think you have to use have the sword with his sword. Large intestine? You weren't fooling with that VR stuff, were you? Heaven forbid. Good, now get out. Well, let's do that again. Reload. <laughs> All right. What the hell? Got any more bright ideas? Ah, well. all right. Uh, let me think. Yeah, just do it again. Shit. I could have sworn that it was, up. like, because, like, the sword, like, glows, like, completely red. Like, it highlights that, like, you will, like it does when you do any other object. Well, let, let me, I, let me at least not be in such a I rush to click on him. all the fuss is about. Yeah. It was either the sword, the body, or the the head, or the neck. It was somewhere around there where it highlights, and then because you see, it's like put it on the put it on the stone real quick. You see when it when it glows like bright red. To be perfectly honest, it's glowing red everywhere. Oh wait, try it on the try it on the castle. Like hi, put it over there. Yeah, Aha, it has to glow. Go. It has to glow red like that in order for you to use it properly. So I can't just try it again. Things together. You just gotta find the spot where it glows to do that. There we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> Penny thrust and awesome more. Ooh, yay! It's a chunky hovering dragon's heart, just like the one I have at home. <laughs> Interesting. Ugh. Wow. How do you do that? Or dare I ask? Well, I am the key master. Does that come with a dental plan? I don't know what you two critters are up to, but I want you out of here. Now! We were just leaving. Well, now that you got the key, you can use that to unlock the, uh, the chains that are uh, currently attached to Bruno and Trixie. But... But what? Well, it's not like we can get over to them. No, you can. Really? Don't want to trip the alarm? Yeah, you won't trip the alarm. All you have to do is just use the key on the security system. Didn't you notice it had a keyhole? I didn't even see a security system, to be perfectly honest. It's the it's the great... Well, you'll see it. Ah, here it is. There we are. Brilliant. Looks like they couldn't be more happier. Yeah! Now do the same. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Whoa! Well, back to the circus with you. I'm feeling a little morally conflicted about taking Bruno back to the circus. I'm not. Let's go, you big lug. Stay away from him, you malefactor. I'm not a malefactor. I'm a Lagomorph. 
Look, I'm not going back to the circus, and I'm late for a party. Oh yeah, the Bigfoot party. Where is it? It's at Evelyn Morrison Savage Jungle Inn in picturesque Half-Life, Nevada. Bigfoots. And their dates? Oh. You see her boingy 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 with the little <laughs> neck there. <laughs> Let's go. Bigfoots only, huh? That sounds like an invitation I've ever heard one. Damn straight. Plus, I believe that name that they mentioned sound familiar, Evelyn Morrison. Didn't they mention her back during the Tunnel of Love? Hmm. Is this going to warrant a return trip? Uh, yes. I can't pick that up. God damn it. So, let's get to that party. Oh. Whoops. What are you going back there for? You said return trip to, uh, to the Tunnel of Love. Oh, I'm sorry. Not the... I didn't mean a return trip to the Tunnel of Love. I thought you were referring to Bumpusville. <laughs> you are... Sorry. Uh, right, you'll yeah, have to move... Go. You'll have to move out of the way so that Max can move, so, yeah. Oh, you son of a bitch. No, no, just... just When you move to that screen, you'll be able to, yeah. There we go. So, anyways... The Savage Jungle Inn. This place is tiki rific tiki rific Yeah, I feel immersed in native culture. I just hope this place has authentic savage tiki drinks with that authentic tiki tang. It's a miniature mighty volcano lending authenticity to this jungle motif. Looks like a gopher <laughs> mound. Yeah, where's so... Joe? Where's Joe when you need him? Savage Jungle Inn. So all you can really do out here is step inside of the place. Come on, Sam, try to lift the building. Oh boy. It's just another Bigfoot. It's not like you can do anything to him. That's a particularly big Bigfoot. What's up in there? Big time Bigfoot party. Not much of a talker, is he? Oh, he is not. He seems to be in pain, too. I wonder if this bird talks. Maybe it'll give us an important clue. Nah, that'd be stupid. Don't be silly. <laughs> hey, aren't you Evelyn Morrison, famed B-movie star? Yes, I am she. I've seen all your movies. My favorite was Robot Terror from Beyond the Galaxy. Is that the one where the alien says, Clam do Beretta Nimno? No, that's Vampirus in Prison. Oh, yeah. Would you like Evelyn Morrison's autograph? Actually, we just want to ask a few questions. Evelyn Morrison is always available for interviews. Shh. Have you had any problems with the Bigfoots? Evelyn Morrison has always worked well with grotesque creatures of the night. I'll take that as a no, then. I'm starting to see where Dwayne Johnson got his penchant for talking in the third person. <laughs> you haven't seen a short, self-absorbed, crazy as a bedbug country western singing star around here, have you? If you mean Conroy Bumpus, Evelyn Morrison had him ejected from the premises hours ago. Why? He was harassing Evelyn Morrison's guests. Oh, well, couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Action! I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Corman. Wow. That was almost too easy. <laughs> I have the sudden craving for an umbrella drink. Evelyn Morrison's Jungle Inn has the greatest umbrella drinks in the world, with over 237 kinds of rum. All in just one drink? Which way to the bar? Take it easy, Max. You don't even drink. Oh, yeah. Toucan must have put words into my mouth. <laughs> well, at least, no at least we know where all the rum went. I'll get back to you later. Evelyn Morrison will be here. In the meantime, why not take some of these brochures? They have Evelyn Morrison's autograph on them, making them must-have collectibles. Thanks. Well, that was nice of her. Let's take a look at those autographs she gave you. Joyous. Hmm. I hate it when you hum, Sam. It sounds like a high-voltage tower. 
These are pamphlets for the Mount Rushmore Dinosaur Tar Pit in Bungee Jumping National Park in North Dakota, and some place called the Celebrity Vegetable Museum in Gold Liver, Texas. Uh oh I think I like the humming better. <laughs> in the meantime, well, what do we do about this guy? I notice he. I do notice he is in pain. Well, he seems to be having a problem with his feet there. He's gonna need something to rough throw up those calluses or whatever it is. Something that something smooth or well, not quite smooth, but something that'll go quite well on his feet. Well, the only thing we have that'll even fit remotely is this. No, 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 no. You need something to help him with his feet. Oh. Something to scrape off all those corns and calluses and whatnot. Something sharp. Something that you've been carrying around ever ah. since. There you are. Here. Look how happy he is. It only hurt until it's over. So now he'll be happy to do you a favor, but you still can't exactly go into the Bigfoot party because you're not a Bigfoot. So you're gonna have to put together an elaborate disguise for one. This guy. <laughs> oh, by the way, try using that phone booth there. Will we come out with a cape and uh, our underwear on our outsides? No. Let's find just... out. I had no one to call. Call me, call me. You'd have to get cellular. I'm Pixular. Better than cellular. That's bad, Max. Really bad. Who cares? I'm cute. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> now then, you can't do anything more here, so just leave. So now you're gonna have to take a trip to one of those new two new places you got on your map, which is now complete, by the way. There won't be any more new locations at this point. Ah, well, being a produce uh, associate, that tomato talks to me. <laughs> so, it's the Celebrity Vegetable Museum, where every single vegetable looks like a celebrity. What detail? See the carrot leaning out of the book depository? Never mind that. What about the string beans behind the fence on the grassy knoll? Triangulation of crossfire, that's the key! I can't investigate anything. Uh, just go a little further in. Celebrity Vegetable Museum. Here's a nice looking lady. I applaud this woman's monomania. What the holy mother of gourd is this? Oh, isn't it obvious? I grow vegetables in the shapes of famous celebrities. For a small fee, I'll grow a vegetable from a photograph. Oh, that would have been my second guess. What prompted that batch of Conroy heads over there? Was trying a new growth hormone for some of my more distinguished personalities when I realized it was no good. Now it won't stop. They just keep growing like that. Deep misshaping growths on top. Remind me of Conroy Bumpus, so I ran a special. Couldn't have possibly sold well. So <laughs> what do you know about Bigfoots? Well, they don't translate well into vegetables. I have been experimenting with the idea for a while. There's just no such thing as a furry vegetable. Check out our fridge. <laughs> I grow more fascinated by the moment. So what's the biggest thing in vegetable celebrities right now? I can't believe I lived long enough to hear you say that, Sam. You <laughs> may not believe this, Sonny, but the biggest thing right now is miniaturization. Miniaturization? Peas. Peas? I know, I know, it seems impossible. All we are saying is give peas a chance. Get out of here. <laughs> well, bye. You are no longer worth my time. Yeah, anyway. Hello. Uh, that little bin there has got something you need. I can't believe Harrison actually agreed to this. It is a stunning likeness, though. It's amazing what they can do with mushrooms. I can't pick that up. No, no, the bin. Whoa. It's hideous. It looks just like Conroy Bumpus, too. Do I have to pay her for it? 
No, you're free to take it. You're also free to, uh, as you can see on that sign, if you can give her any kind of picture, she'll make a vegetable out of it. Ooh, a stunning portrait of John Muir, famous. What do you make of this? Famed naturalist John Muir, <laughs> This looks like a zucchini squash to me. I can do this, but it'll take a short while. Will All we right. come back later then? Yeah. You'll need Say. to come back to here at a certain time anyway, so... I don't suppose it's at all possible to nick that wig, is it? It is. In fact, you you just now got the means of doing it. Oh, where are you? Right there you are. It's time for the old switcheroo. Well, we've had enough Star Wars references to last us a long time. Now it's time for an Indiana Jones reference. <laughs> Those are just as overdone. It's an eggplant to look. Let's do this. No, 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 it's let's do this? I'm moist with anticipation. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, great. Hey, that hurts! Knock it off! Go ahead, rough us up all we want. We got what we came for. Oh. If anything, you just Friends saved me the trip. Out. <laughs> well, you got his toupee. <laughs> Can't wait to see how he looks when he's gone without his toupee. <laughs> anyway, now that you're done there, let's go check out that dinosaur park. It truly is going to take a while for her to do her magic, isn't it? Ow! At least the DeSoto has stopped making that funny noise. I told you not to run over that biker gang. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, it's, it's, it's either that or a pipe organ or a bag of cats, right? <laughs> Let's do George. George, George, Bo Forge, Banana, Banana, Bo Forge, B5, Bo Forge, George. There isn't any president. We can't rhyme. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea either. Anyway. Sam and Max, making, making people speechless since the 90s. What manner of place is this? Look at this place. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Have you no respect? I want to try too. Whoa, carpet slide, huh? You're stuck this forever. This place evokes a sense of wonder. You have to wonder. <laughs> yeah, and the much like the tarp. Very quickly. The same thing could be said about the plot. That's not fun, much, Max. Much like the tar, this line isn't moving anywhere soon, and you're gonna need that tar. What's going on here, you cute little ragamuffin? What does it look like, Barface? You should show more respect toward your elders, Sonny. Respect this, Bowser Breath. Ooh, can I pummel him now, Sam? No, Max. Puberty will be punishment enough for this one. True. All I have to do is wait you out. We want to ride the tar slide. Line forms in the back, Shep. The humanity. Where? Good question. So long, Squirt. Well, I yeah. suppose we're gonna have to give him what for in the next video. 